tonight a mishap with the Tampa Fire Dispatch System is highlighting concerns that the union, city council, and many around the city are now having about Tampa's growth. As well as the need for more public safety resources. ABC Action News in-depth reporter Rochelle Aline shows us how the department is preparing for the future. A hardware failure on Sunday. We did have a um, system failure with one of the servers. Left part of Tampa Fire Rescue's dispatch without computer access for three days, according to Tampa's fire chief. The only difference that what has taken place is now, instead of everything being digital and typing on the computer, it's a little manual labor where we have to write some things down. Speaking to ABC Action News Wednesday night, Chief Tripp told us they tried to fix the broken server, and when that didn't work, they had to prep a backup. So we have another server that we had actually put in place. And with that server, it's so much to go into that server before you can get it up again, meaning you have to put in all the addresses, you have to put in all the phone numbers, you have to put a lot of street numbers, you have to put a lot of information into the system. It went live as of last evening. Thursday morning, Chief Tripp echoed to the Tampa City Council what she told us the night before, that the server was back up and running and that the department is working to upgrade its existing computer system. To my knowledge, yes. And it's something the Tampa Fire Union president claims they've been calling for for years. This is a problem, though, that doesn't sound like it surprises you. We've been outdated since 1998. Um, it's going to become inoperable. It's going to crash. Um, and it did. It did a couple days ago. But even in the face of these fixes, there are still questions about the impact this crash had on the community. Were, were so, response times impacted? So to be honest with you, that's something that we'll have to investigate. But when we talk about as far as response time, there have been there have not been a gap in service. Thursday, council members also questioned why the backup server wasn't already ready to go in the event of a system crash. And they asked how the department would prevent that from happening in the future. So in something that's so critically important as this, I would think that we'd have redundancy so that you wouldn't have to go to a manual backup system, that you'd have a, be able to you know, automatically switch over to something like that. So as we build out that new system, I, I agree with the council on yep, her We will make sure that that is sent to play. And this server failure comes on the heels of two major fires in the city this week and at a time when the Tampa Fire Rescue System as a whole has been the subject of scrutiny from the community. I do think that there is a desperate need for a lot more of, you know, policing and a lot more fire protection out here. The fire chief has said that since taking the job in November of 2021, she's added an extra fire engine to the North Tampa area in an effort to provide relief to that area. But the Tampa Fire Union says that more needs to be done. They tell us that last year, the Tampa Fire Rescue responded to more than 90,000 calls, and they claim a citywide master plan for that department would help get them on the right track. Um, we've been pushing for a public safety master plan since 2019, mm. and that's in hopes to have the progress outlined because of the deficits that we have on how we made it here. We're so far behind. The union is also calling for more firefighters, more stations and better equipment. And those calls come as the fire chief is working on getting that department more resources. The city council will be holding a workshop with the Tampa Fire Rescue, the fire union and a consulting firm on August 31st to talk about how the department is really doing and how it can be improved. Reporting with photojournalist Josh Woodston, I'm Rochelle Aline.